Huh? No, no, I'm shutting it off. I ain't shutting it off. Downstairs, escalators, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get really. Were you guys on the second out? Alright, so we're probably going to lose the line beats, guys, because we're going to have to go in the basement, so. I would imagine we're going to lose that. If we lose it, we'll come back to you. Yes. Keep coming, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're waiting for some folks. Go ahead, down there. Uh, we should check and see if there's anybody on this floor. Let's look. Yeah, it's just tough to like, figure out. Oh, I'm sorry. We should just walk around. It's not that good. Yeah. We'll walk around. It's one thing where we have to wait for her. Yeah, okay. want somebody go on. Who's the gentleman walking? Hey, Ranger. I'll wait. We all know. Okay, more people. All right, we're going to head around real quick to take a look. Sure. I mean, it's kind of baffling why they make it so confusing. Good. Yeah. Yeah. When they get off, send them this yeah. way. We'll just meet back here. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're going. Right, we're going to go up to 15. 15. 
15 so that's where uh, uh the fifth floor we, we, we're, we're going up 15. we're gonna go up first we're gonna go get his one. Which one is his food off. Toby is in the <coughs> office today. Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> they increased the brightness. All right, guys, you ready? Hang on, hang on. Still waiting for Marjorie. Should have signed. Did Nancy have a book out for her? Uh, no, no, she did she? not have a book out for her. Yeah. It's a surprise. No. I thought, it wasn't that racist that, uh, what's his name, had a book? The guy was running for president? A book of names? Uh, he had a binder of women. What was his name? The rhino Republican out of Massachusetts. Oh. Mitt Romney. Yeah. Yeah. Rhino Mitt. How are you doing? Man? Uh, how, many, how many of these people have rainbow flags? Yeah, right now, this, uh, yeah, don't tell me there's a rainbow flag out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, Kamala Harris has a big rainbow flag. And oh, here, here they come. It has a big rainbow flag and it says, uh, Dreamers Welcome. Dreamers Welcome, huh? No, the flag doesn't. She has a sign that says that. But she doesn't have an American flag. She has a rainbow flag. Might have. Soda. Soda. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 I won't repeat on here what it stands for, but um, that's her hashtag, and she's very proud of it, and it's very unfortunate. She doesn't represent me, and it's very unfortunate that she's got elected into such power and such position, and to have an elected official talking like that, when we have kids that look up to her, uh, it's really sad. And she's from Texas. And she's from Texas. Texas is going to turn blue. No, it's not. I'm telling you that people don't stand up. This is going to turn blue. We're, we're not recording you, so we're just recording a message that we're sending to you. No, I understand, but in, in yellow. Go ahead. Okay. I just you know, you know what we need to not allow our illegal aliens into our country. Would you be able to elaborate why she's uh, trying to allocate $180 million in my city for illegal aliens when we have tons of veterans? We have tons of veterans down there, and we have so many kids living in poverty level, and this woman is hell-bent on spending $180 million tax dollars of our, of our earned money on illegals, people have done nothing for our country. Can you elaborate or talk to us a little bit about that? Unfortunately not, sir. Uh, Travis is just here mm -hmm. trying to do his job. Okay, would you so please elaborate? Mama's woman Escobar is not here, but she's going to be in El Paso tomorrow for the district. Okay. In a, you know, a town hall. Okay. It's just, it's just I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. I've tried to interview her. I've tried to talk to her, and she runs away. She runs away, so I, I figured maybe coming to her if office. If you give me your card, I can 
I've tried to give her my number. I've tried to ask her for hers. Civilly, I've tried to. Uh, she just won't talk to me. And I want to know. Hi, Elizabeth. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Anthony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. If you give me your card, I'll give you a touch. Uh, okay. I'll give you a little bit. I'm Carlos. Nice to meet you guys. Right. Yeah. So our, All right. That's Carlos, nice to meet you. Our message is simple, though. They, they, they swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. See, it's the same story every time you go to one of their offices. Even if they're here, they're not going to be They're not going to talk to you. That's what we expect, right? Yep. That's always to be expected. You know, they, they, they get upset. But I guess I, I guess if I was a criminal trying to help illegals, I would be upset too if someone's going to ask me about the criminal activity that I'm doing. Right? Why? What's going on, Debbie? That's it. All right. All right. So let's get. We're, we're heading down this way. We are going to visit uh, Ship and Mackinac. Ship and Ship. Ship and Ship. All right. Anthony's not here. Those are the ones. Oh, yes. All right. I took a picture of, uh, what is said it? you had to go down to one floor and go to an escalator. We do. We have to go down. I think we have to go in the basement. <laughs> um, the basement for Adam Schiff and Maxine. Yeah, we do. So we're going to have to go. Right. right. So we're going to head out. So we got to go downstairs. Exactly. We're going to all head down. Sure. Yeah. All right, y'all. Go to basement. On our tour of the uh, Congress. Swamp. Swamp. The swamp. Yeah. Thank sure, the swamp. When we walk in, we're going to stare at it. Whoever doesn't want to stare at it, we're going down to the basement. Come on, man. All right, y'all, come on with us. This is beautiful. Marble. Is this marble? What is this? Is this granite? It is beautiful. Oh, it's limestone. Oh, it's limestone. OK, OK, guy, guy who knows his stone. Limestone, All right, hang on a second. Let's see if it keeps wanting to turn and not go with me. I can't believe we've had signal this whole time. Thanks for coming with us, y'all. Sorry, I, I swiped the comments away because I had to increase my brightness and I lost the uh, signal for everything. So. Yeah, but once we go in the basement, guys, if I lose the signal, I'll come back when we get to uh, Shifty Shift's office. All right. <laughs> Yes. All of the representatives of this country are the employees of the American citizens. That's right. We're inspecting our employees. Yes. This is quality control, and right now they're failing. They are. And all American citizens should be inspecting this place. You are, you are the employer. You're responsible. The representatives are the employees. Yeah. You're responsible. This is first floor, so we got to go one more. <laughs> I got a Trump 2020 sticker on my car. Yeah. 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 Can you tell us? Can you tell us Where how to get? Them? We want to know. Well, of course we love those. Um, we're going to visit Maxine Waters. And, uh, Before you, why would you want to do that? Well, we'd like to inform her. As well, let me just tell you something. She's committed treason. Let me just tell you something right now. That uh, the most dangerous place in Washington D.C. is between Adam Schiff and a camera. Yeah. Okay. That's where we're going. We're going here. We're going here. There's. So they said go to the basement and then go over. Uh, probably both of them in the river. I actually worked for this place for 22 years and I'm tired of the Oh, I'm not. Right. Hey, Colonel, it's DJ. How are you? 
I swear, some people's faces look like they just smell doo doo. I know, like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. They, they had a, a, a shitty look on their face. Yeah, that bad. Some of these people's face? I swear. As you guys, as we're walking around, obviously, not going to there you go. I was going to kill the feet. That's why I didn't answer it. Yeah, no. I'm at the bathroom. I was like, where did we go? Yeah. I found his feet and I saw the way they're coming down on the fifth floor. Like 50 so people shared. I couldn't answer it. Like, I was just saying, I saw him coming down. So I'm like, I'll just see where they come down and come out and I'll fucking get them back on. Yeah. I wasn't trying to leave you guys, but I had to go. 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 Certainly, go, go, go. Yep, that's right. That's right, calling you. We're representing so, here calling on Facebook and YouTube. Landslide, baby. Landslide. We're standing up for. Oh, they said. You got to get back from time to 1 o'clock. That's how good the meter's going. <laughs> you got to stand up for our people, y'all. Good to see you all. We got to stand up for the dreamers. The real dreamers. Yeah. Get her out. Get her out. Get her out. Stop. Get her out. Stop. The real dreamers. Stand up for the real dreamers. The American people are the real dreamers. We're the real news. The American people are the real news. I hate it over the escalator thing. Yeah. I really jump off the It's you know it's all the racists they saw just walk past. Well, you know, oh you know what I've been saying. You know what I've been saying. You know what's scarier than a white man in a mega hat? A black man. Terrifying. Ask Jesse Smollett. Oh my gosh. Oh. What's scarier than a white man in a mega hat? A black man. Ask Jesse Smith. X. No, it's two black men. Two, yeah. two yeah. black men two in black mega hat. That is terrifying. That's horrible. All right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, have that's the elevator. Gift, that's the gift. That's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh my gosh. It's too it will never stop. Squeeze in. Come on, we'll Come fix in. you guys. Yeah, we'll we'll go 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 Sardine it. Sardine it. Act like your friend. Act like your friend. Come on, Perry. Perry, get in here. Actually, you want to know what this is? Come on. 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 Hey, at least it went out that way. Did anybody push a button yet? Are you sweating? 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 This it reminds me of when we have to share a room. It's starting to go better. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm in a going to stand on my own while in the projects, the Robert Taters, with about 20 people. We got five on one bunk bed. I've been there. 22, 21. Let's do it. 22, 21. Pad waters. A little extra protection. That's my Maxine Maxi Pad waters. I don't know what that one. That's vulgar. Bad Maxi. I was going to say something crazy, but I want to kill nobody's feet over here. For Maxine, We're looking for Maxine, the woman who incite violence. Like what, what, what Maxine said, if Trump would have said it, it would have been protest all over. Like, 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 like
brother. My brother from another mother. Hey Dan, so you, you wanna so you said you wanna meet my uncle Bob and Maggie? Yes. So I'll have a shout out to that You don't have to say where Strong representing hard, we go hard. You dig? And I don't get why do people. Why do you guys like to text me when I'm going on? I mean, why do you guys do that? All right, let me turn my light off so I can turn the camera around. I feel like I've kept to do that. Uh-oh, Maxine, what is the this? Maxine. Thank you for your service, sir. We appreciate you. Thank you. We and Maxine's. We're going to have a... Oh, the wicked... The lady who incite violence. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. Hey, Omar, debate, Omar. Well, the members are not in session today, so the congresswoman's not here to debate, but I will let her know that y'all stop by. Come on in. How many of you the, the, the lady who incite violence. Yes. Hello. I want to. So we here. just want to tell her we reject the protecting of criminal illegal aliens at the Americans' expense, and we reject the, the call for violence against Trump supporters. Trump supporters are not racist. They are not bigots. They are people that love this country. They're every color, every gender, every walk of life. We represent the American people. And her saying that and calling for violence. My, and calling, my, my question to her is: yeah. My grandfather was Jewish. And Maxine Waters is virtually hugging with virtual Jew haters, like Louis Farrakhan. What does she have to say about that? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not at a liberty to speak on the Congresswoman's behalf, but I will let her know that you asked and that you stopped. What about her ties to the Communist Party? Well, you know, if you want to write me a list, I'd be happy to relay it to her, but I will share these, these <laughs> Good messages answer. with her. What about Good the videos? And you all have some lovely years. recordings going on, so I'm sure that we'll be able to see them online. Three well. bills. She's only asked two bills in over 30 years. Wow. That's, that's what we that's have. That's not very effective. That's not very effective. That's a very effective person in Congress. Yeah. And you know what, though? Honestly, with all the crap that they do pass, yeah. that doesn't hurt my feelings. that she Because the, the stuff I mean, she yeah. would have passed. She would have been terrible for America. For us, yeah. yeah. So hey, we should be thankful she yeah. only passed three. Yeah, well, I'm glad about that. <laughs> <laughs> she well, keeps getting that paycheck. Yeah. Couldn't she gets paid say, while people struggle. Couldn't we say that Maxine Waters, since she supports sanctuary laws in California, couldn't we say that she's just as guilty of treason yep. as Nancy Pelosi is? Yep. Um, we've just delivered a White House petition to Nancy Pelosi's office where we had 185,000 signatures. Um, we needed only 100,000, but we got 185,000 in 30 days uh, for impeaching Nancy Pelosi for crimes of treason. And where can they see that at? Uh, they can see that on whitehouse.gov, and you can keep signing the petition and keep sharing it. And so we believe that Maxine Waters is just as guilty of treason as Nancy Pelosi is. As a matter of fact, any elected official to the United States of America that is serving illegals over the citizens of the United States is guilty of treason by giving them aid and comfort. And that's the definition of treason to enemies of this country. And illegals are people that cross our boundary, cross into our country, and break our laws when they illegally enter. We want legal immigration, and we want people to come to America, pursue their dreams, but we want them to do it legally. Right. And that's that's what's important to us. And we are, Maxine Waters, she is our employee. As a United States citizen, I pay taxes. She is my employee. So therefore, she needs to serve all of the citizens that pay taxes, not illegals that come in and break our laws. We are her constituents. Maxine Waters lives in Hancock Park outside the district in a big mansion. She has a giant wall and has a lot of security on her property. Mm -hmm. Arm security. I mean, arm security. And in itself, that is a concern to me. I mean, like, she's for security yeah. in her own home. Right, but, but not yet, for our country. For our country, she, yeah. she doesn't care about it. What's so how, I, I open this up. How yeah. about Maxine Waters lets every illegal into yeah. her own home? Even yeah. the jacuzzi she has on her second floor. Yeah. I mean, that would be a kind of nice thing for her to do. They're tired. Open they're, the doors, Maxine. They're hot. They need, they need a place <laughs> to stay. I think every Democrat who supports sanctuary policy, that's why we went to... Uh, Gavin Newsom's house. That's why we went to Nancy yeah. Pelosi's house. That's where, if you support illegal aliens coming into America, you should be opening your doors to them. 
You should oh be experiencing what they... Welcome this, this, in your home. Yes, the sad thing is that what the illegal alien supporting policies do is actually hurt the black community. So if Maxine Waters actually cared yes. about her own, about the black it community, it takes away jobs. From and what, all and, and she's attacking President Trump, who is the president who has presided over the lowest unemployment in the black community in history. Amen. And Latino. Amen. Community. And, Latino. Yeah. and female. And we yeah. female. They are hurting legal Latinos. Yeah. People that come mm -hmm. here legally, yeah. they're hurting that community right. by letting illegal Latinos invade this country. Yeah. And we could piggyback off what Ben was saying earlier. If you ask me, she's guilty of inciting violence. Yeah. Every single oh, time yes. one of us is attacked because of what we're wearing, every yes. single time we're kicked out of a restaurant, every single time something's thrown at us, every single time it's because of her. She came out and she published Told yes. To attack. Yes. That's right. Yeah. She that said no crime. peace, no she, peace. That is yeah. a crime. And she yeah. said that we should take out the president of the United States too. Yeah. And then she's not paying for anything. There was someone outside the district in San Pedro who made a threat to her, and it's he better. gets arrested. Well, what about Maxine what Waters think? getting arrested also I, I for making threats to the president of the United States? Maxine's a racist. I don't see that. I, I, There's I no she's fairness evil. in that. Yeah, I know so, I mean, she's if evil. She gets pre yeah. preferential you know, she treatment. She violence. sits on the you know, she's like a modern day she's a Ku Klux Klan. That's so what I look at. So she's obviously going to be treated yeah. differently. Yeah. Yeah. The oppression, the bigotry, it's all on the left side. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's <laughs> Waters, we need to remember that. Maxine Waters, yeah. I'm sorry, no disrespect to anyone of age, but Maxine Waters has served in this, served, she's stayed in this office for too long. We need term limits. We need younger people to be term limits. limits. Term limits. Term limits. Younger people like Omar. That's yes, right. That's young right. people to come in. She can't eat. She's so, I'm sorry, this is disrespectful, but she is so far up in her years that it's time for her to retire. The average retirement age of in the private workforce is 62 years old. 62 years old. That is when people retire. But there's people in Congress like Maxine Waters and Nancy Pelosi that hold on to these seats for power and money and just stay here until they're, you know, they're like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. They don't even show up anymore because they're too sick and they're they're dying. Yeah. I mean, they're they're dying for over in thirty years and there's no yes. term limits. I mean, you feel like you don't have to do and anything. And you haven't passed You're anything. You've been in Congress You've thirty years. Three, three bills. Right. Right. I mean, right. So I mean, you would expect that she's going to do better for her community. That's why we have sixty thousand more homeless people in Los Angeles County alone in the past six years. Eric Garcetti, our mayor, keeps passing all these bond measures, allocating all this money to help out the homeless, but yet nothing goes towards the homeless. That actually goes towards administrative costs and creating more government employees, and that's a big problem. We're not doing anything to help out the poor people that are out there with mental health problems that have that that, have, that are exactly. in the street. Or a so we have to veterans? make sure that we're doing what about our we veterans? Can. Our are veterans are forgotten veterans? too. The streets in, yeah. in California are littered with we drug like the world country in Los Urine, Angeles. I mean, this. Yeah, and also, there was just recently we had first. a That's case right. where there was an old uh, disease that actually was resurfaced because of everybody urinating and, and shameful. Saying, yeah. Shameful. There's, there's these people are obstructing, obstructing yeah. justice and not serving America. They're not serving the American citizens, and it's shameful. They should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, she should take a look at herself. She she's should living resign. high in a $4.3 million mansion yes. while the rest of the people in the district rock. Mm. Yeah, it's, okay. it's elite. The are we gonna, are we gonna leave a copy of that? And yeah. just let her know that. Omar, where can they find you? They're asking where they can find you. You can find me at omarnavarro.com. You can go to my website. They can donate. Is that close it is? I went against Maxine Waters. I raised $1.2 million. I raised as much as she did. She won because she had the motor voter law in her favor. She had a lot of illegal voting. And that was wrong. That's one of the things we have to stop. We have a drone. We have a lot of illegal voting in Los Angeles. So we have to make sure we're cracking down on that. We need to hire attorneys. I'm sorry, sir. We need money to hold Los Angeles County accountable. You can't pay, can't pay it on federal grounds. It's fine for you to stop by, but I'm just... We have to stop the fraudulent votes. They're using using It's a solicitation issue. You can't do it on federal grounds. Yeah, I mean, we. I was happy. We have the whole point is you should have to have ID. I'm so, can we, can, sir, sir, I'm, I'm, you, we can't talk about voting. No, but, voting? Just, but we're, we're. Are you we're, trying to uh, silence us, sir? They, are you trying to silence us? No, I'm just saying you can't, okay, can't thank campaign. You, you can't back. campaign on. Okay, we heard you. We heard you. Nobody's going to go out. Nobody's going to go out.
It's so one-sided. They're using, it Democrats is, only care about illegals because so they can use them for votes. They can use them to stay as victims, just like they use the black community pretending... The liberalism is real. Like we saw with Jesse Smollett and the... the liberalism is real. Guys, we have to get out of that lie. You're not a victim in America. He's triggered. You can be whatever you want to be as long as you... He's a triggered liberal. And you, and you stand up and you don't have babies out of wedlock. But bottom line, guys... No more voting for illegals. We have to have voter pass voter ID laws across yeah. this country. Mexico, in Mexico to vote, guess what? You have to have a voter ID. Yeah. It's not racist. It's smart. All right. Every day, every state needs to do it. Okay. Can we? Um, so we're we're ready to move on. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. All right. All right. All right. We triggered him. Look at him. He's tri triggered. <laughs> triggered <laughs> liberal right there. That's, that's a liberal. liberal. He's a triggered just liberal right there. Maxine Waters. I'm also an American. Thank you very much. And we are too. We are too. Uh, Maxine Waters. But he's a triggered American. All right. Thank you. And Trump is your president. Yes, as long it is. As an American citizen. Yeah. That man's triggered. He, he kind of imagines me like another version of Don Lennon. That's another token Negro right there. He's a token. A token Negro right there. He's a token Negro. This is what happens. You see how threatening it? Yeah. I show up, yeah. and they automatically get threatened yep. because I care about my community. I actually want to make a difference. And I'm yep. not campaigning going in there. I'm talking about the issues that are actually happening. Yeah. And then, obviously, someone asked on the stream, uh -huh. what's my website? Yeah. And automatically, you're campaigning all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, trigger. So, I mean, they get triggered. Not only that, Maxine Waters, I guarantee you they're going to try to follow up with this. They're going to try to report this to the FBI. I, no I guarantee you yeah. they're going to try to report this to the FBI. Yeah. Mm. And they're going to try to make a case out of it. Because Maxine Waters is concerned about me. And she's concerned about the 2020 election. Mm -hmm. Because what, are you, are, are you even signed up to run an election? No. Oh. So, so then you're not, well, you're not technically running. You're not technically running. I'm on, I have a committee open, but I'm not kidding. What's what I'm saying? You, you I'm not actually sure. sure. If you haven't done the signatures, you haven't done the signatures, and you haven't done the signatures, then you're not running. You're not running. It's like it's like I'm a, it's like even far from being an official candidate. So they're saying I'm campaigning. How am I campaigning when I'm not even running? Yeah. We're simply sitting here talking about issues. You seen that token trigger? That dude is a token Negro. You know what I say? He's a token Negro. Before in the last election, it doesn't mean that I'm going to run again. Because you challenge me, we need to stop trying to promote what you yeah. want to have done in this country. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to be a citizen just concerned about what's going on. And I can show up there. Yeah. I can do whatever I want as a citizen. Mm -hmm. And I can show up and ask questions. Yes. I might have gone against her, but I'm not campaigning. So they're like, oh, you're campaigning, you're campaigning. Yep. They're trying to make, they're trying to make a case out of nothing. Mm -hmm. I've been trying doing when they tried reporting this document that I tweeted because I wanted to know if the document was real. Mm-hmm. And I tweet and say, I don't know, I don't know if it's real or not, but I want to find out. Yeah. And then automatically they accuse me of, of myself forging this document when I never did. Yeah, All I did was share it. They waited for us You control us. Yeah, I mean, look, this, this is what happens when you have politicians like Maxine Waters that are for more government who support no communist. Mm. That's what you have. You have more government control. You have more government control. That's what's going on right now. Maxine Waters is a communist. Yes. She wants more government control in our lives. I want less government. I want the government to be out of your life. Mm. I want the government to stay out of your kids. Oh, yeah? That's amazing. Thank you. So we, we need people like that out of office. And I'm going to do whatever I can. If I do run again, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do whatever I can to get her out of office. And we because got your back. You don't have to run to be able to help. I don't, yeah, it's like I can be here and I can do whatever I can. I'm a citizen, I pay taxes, just like everybody else, and my money goes towards things that are not even, not even paying, they're not fixing the streets, they're not doing anything with the money that they're allocating towards helping our communities, and they're not helping. That's my biggest concern. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to whose office? No, no. Who else are we going to, y'all? We just getting warmed up. It's getting started. Uh -huh. You saw that? You saw that? Yeah. Yeah. Come here, Kevin. Come on. 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 Come
Let the drums roll. We just left the token Negro. It's right here. So it wasn't directly even targeted. We're going to every We are right here. No walls, no walls. We'd like to see what representative Shep is here. So who's the person that says the most unhinged things on Twitter? trigger guy. Who's in charge of Adam Shep's Twitter account? I won't shake my hand. I won't shake my hand. Mm -hmm. He won't shake hands because he's hateful. Yeah, that's that hateful. Piece. Why so angry? Why, why, why so angry? An uh, uh, angry liberal right here. Uh, angry. He's angry. Won't shake a hand. Who's handling Adam Schiff's Twitter account? Mm -hmm. You think he probably appreciate your right? Yeah. We just left the, the train down, y'all. Bring it down. I'm asking if we can talk to someone to find out about the Congressional Slush Fund for the sexual harassment cases. Yeah, that uses tax revenue. Do you all know the coordinator office? Well, we are the employer. <laughs> So we allow recording. You guys work for us. Another trigger liberal. Sure, <laughs> great, thank you. Thank you. Trigger. You look pretty mad. Smile, bro. Life is beautiful. Liber Liberalism is a virus. Why would you not be smiling? Look, he won't shake. Shake out here. What's up? You, you hate us, man? You hate us? You won't shake a black man's hand? But you, but you can't shake a black man's hand? You're being racist. You can't shake a black man's hand. That's so racial. That's pretty racist. See, look, yeah, he's racist. He will not shake a black man's hand. So we just want... We want Adam to know that Trump is his president. That's a Black Lives Matter, right? For six more years. Hey, Black Lives Matter. Bro? Black Lives Matter. Yeah. So but you want to shake a black man's hand? Man, 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 man. You want to shake a black man's hand, but Black Lives Matter too, you, right? Uh, poor guy. Oh. No, 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 no. Hold on. Black Lives Only Matter is the right person or cop is involved. Oh. That's true. Black Lives Only Matter. Oh, okay. Make okay. okay. sure you get yeah. to understand. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
right? Do you? Are, are you always this rude? Are you always this rude? Because if you are, I need to take down your name. I'm concerned of you working in my in one of our elected officials' office. You know what? I need everybody to call Shift's office. And what is your name? Hey, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Okay. But I don't want to give you his name. Trigger liberal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to Kamala. He didn't shake your hand. No, he's a trigger. You're racist. I'm offended. Yeah, he's a racist. Let's go. This is pitiful. Pitiful. Let's go visit Kamala Harris and ask her. All right. We just left the token Negro. Now we're down there with the token. Uh, I don't want to say that word. <laughs> I even told him, I said, dude, I love you. I don't hate you. I love you. I don't care shake my hand. I love you, dude. Yeah. He's like, I don't care. What does he ever Yeah, he doesn't. Just to undermine our country. Yeah. yeah. All right. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here and go with, find him. Um, oh, we're like, Mac and Patriots, does there, anyone like that ever refuse the guys to shake your hand? Oh, yeah. mm. no. I, I, I've never seen so much love in my life. I got to yeah. get my mouth. So do you think it was your skin color or your hat that he was so offended I think by? it was the, I like, think it was I both. Like one both. Class, I think it was yeah. both. Combination. Yep. Uh, it was both. It doesn't it's know what makeup. Yep, it doesn't mean. So. Especially, you, you, you see a, no, my little piece, you you see a Negro with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a MAGA hat on, it triggers him a lot. You know, they, they don't like that. They don't like that. They don't know that, that we are very diverse. Well, we got gays in our movie. We got gays in our movie. For, for real. We got gays. We got Asians. We got everybody. everybody. We got everybody. Everybody. You know? Everybody supports. You know, we got Muslims in here. We got agnostic ones. Yep. You know? Yeah. But, but they're going to say, we the bigots. Yeah. They the bigots. Yep. They the bigots. That's why I say the dumbed down black community, what the hell you got to lose? Come on over here. Like yep. Trump said. What the hell you got to lose? Yeah. God bless America. God bless America. Mm -hmm. Let's see if anybody will shake your hand in there. Mike. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna yeah. see. Let's see if they, if they are that way. Also, you think the story's done? All right, so we're gonna head down the hallway. Oh, we got here. elevators here. It's a different building. That's the Senate building. The man didn't want to shake my hand. Gina Patriot, what's going on, Gina? Lexus.